What is going on people? Welcome back to the Elder Scrolls 3 Mowing Game of the Year Edition. And we're going to continue where we left off. I believe this is episode 8. So, we found the guy who has Oriole's bow. The problem is, we need to taunt him. So he'll, um, he'll attack us. And then we can kill him and take what we want. I think we need 5 taunts, successful, to get him to attack us. Now the problem is when you've got very bad speech craft, it takes a lot of work just to do this. There's the first taunt that was successful. Ah oh, shit, I don't want to admire him, I want to taunt him. See what I mean? Like this is why it takes a long time because your chances of being able to taunt him successfully are pretty low so because it's a low chance you have to do it a lot when you've got very low speechcraft skill come on dude like I've taunted you like once in about 20 attempts that's not good enough there's two I don't want to intimidate it's hard to do this on a control, like going all the way down, but we got third there. Right, without selecting the wrong one. Oh my days. There's four. There we go. Right, now he wants a piece. Fortuitously, in the last episode, we made a very powerful amulet. Now watch this. Fade that. You die now. See that? Instant KO. That was sick. Right, unequip that. Put Mentor's ring back on. Right, where? I want the, I want the body, not the plan. Fire fern. There he is. Take everything. Right, now I need to cast Recall to go back to my house. Oh nice, first, first attempt. I respect that. Right, now what we can do is we can drop all the heavy stuff that's weighing us down. That we... Uh, took from him apart from obviously Oriole's bow drop those as well so he's looking he's looking pretty fresh he's definitely looking better than we are so we've actually completed the quest now so we need to go back to Talbranora and claim our claim our reward it's a pretty good reward actually, it's the best uh, greaves in the game, period. Anybody who tells you otherwise is bullshitting you. They are the best in the game, and they only take about three hours to get. But you have to know how to get them. Now before I go to the Mages Guild, I need to do a quick detour into the Fighters Guild. Because I need to raid the um, equipment chest. Because I want those restore fatigue and restore HP potions. Yeah, I'll take the cheap ones as well. I don't mind that. 188. Not a problem. Okay. Now we need to go to Talbranora. But I think uh, we might be able to get there using a different technique travel say Vivek then we should be able to go for, to Vivek to Sadrif Mora then Talbranora hopefully that should probably work out quite well for us He 
it does take a long time to get a very strong character in Morrowind. I mean, uh, especially for my character, because I have to do quests to get certain items that I want. But I know what I'm doing, for the most part. Sometimes I'll make a mistake. But generally I've got an idea of what, what I want to do in the episode. So, there's Telbranora. That's a lot quicker than going from the Mages Guild to the Foreign Quarter, then the Foreign Quarter. Run all the way there, then go to Telbranora. So that's definitely the best option when it comes to travelling. I need to remember that for in case I need to do that in the future. But right now, we need to get the Hover Spell equipped. Which was a very cheap custom made spell that I made a few episodes back. I've got like a 90% chance of casting this while I run, so it's pretty useful. Lasts for about 20 seconds. That's the upper tower. Okay. I don't think I'm going to be able to use this hover to levitate up this shaft. I think it'll probably dissipate before then. Oh, we made it. How sick is that? But the problem is I'm on the wrong spot. I need to be on that way. There we are. Nailed it. So this is Therena, Oriole's bow. Right. So you have to say, Ashyam, give her the bow. Say yes. And in return, she gives you a Daedric Curus and a Daedric Pair of Greaves. Now, both of these have a feather 50 point on self constant effect. So that means that would normally weigh 90. Because of the enchantment, it only weighs 40. Now, the Greaves would weigh 54. But because of the Feather 50 points, they weigh 4 units. Which is the best in the game. So right now, I'm 316 over 250. So I'm over-encumbered. However, if I equip the Greaves, I go from 316 to 266. If I equip the Curious, I go from 266 to 216 you see that shit and I've got a 38 armor rating now which is pretty awesome now I'm actually gonna try and do another get another piece of my character I mean I don't use the curious I just use it for the time being so I get the one I want but that is awesome that is really good. And that was expertly done. Just a quicker way of getting to the bottom. Right, so we've got the best Greaves in the game, the best Boots in the game. Then Stagman's Ring, which is one of the best in the game as far as I'm concerned. Now, I think I need to go to Ebonart now. Yeah, I need to go to a place called Cool, and then travel to Solstheim, which would be um, a DLC expansion, but I have the game of the year edition, so no problem. Because I'm going to attempt to try and get to the robe that I would normally wear, but I'm only going to wear it indoors for specific purposes that are going to made, be made clear later on. But for the time being, we need to get there, right? So, travel... Halud. One thing that you can be sh be certain of when it comes to Morrowind is the names of the towns and cities are pretty hard to pronunciate. So if I butcher any names, then you know why. We're not doing too bad. We did that entire quest pretty quickly, pretty effectively. Right, now we need to go from here to Narmok and then from Narmok to Kul 
But instead of traveling to Kuhl, we go to Solstheim. Then we go to from Solstheim, Fort Frostmouth to Raven Rock, and then we make our way to the north. What is that? Northeast of the map. So we're about ten minutes in right now, which is pretty good actually. Travel to Kuhl. I mean, there's so many things we can do in these episodes to improve our character. We'll be doing those in the in future episodes for sure to get my character. But I do have to do a lot of the main quests, which is kind of shitty, but I have to do it right. I mean, really, I've I've not done any leveling. I'm still level one. I'm like seven out of ten for the level. Now, Solstheim, you're not supposed to come here when you're low level because you'll get killed. So travel, Raven Rock. Generally, people go to Solstheim when they're about level 50. Most people, they'll they'll, they'll go there when about 40, 50, maybe even 30. Definitely not level one, that's for sure. I'm taking a big risk here trying to uh, to do this so we look at the map right we need to go about here where the cursor is now I also need hover spell so if I go like from this point on we should be um, in a good position we should be pretty close to where we need to be so I'm just gonna stay on this line Now you have to be very careful about Solstheim because there's a lot of enemies that can tear you apart at level 1. That's why Hover comes in very useful because if you're over the top of the red they can't see you so well which makes your job a lot easier because there are werewolves and shit and um, like Spriggans and stuff. And you definitely don't want to mess with that one at level 1, I'll tell you that much. Not unless you got like max stats at level 1. You just trained all your skills so you can like consistently hit them. Ah, that's a, that's a, a berserker. Little camp. Coming through. I need to try and get away from any heat that's on me. Because that's never fun. Because there's a very big lock that I need to open. Which is why I have the master key spell. That will open 100 points. Um, but the chance of me being able to cast it is pretty low. Hence why I've got quite a few 40, uh, restore magic potions. Because I have the birth sign of the Atronic. So if I rest normally I don't re regenerate magicka. Now there's a building here, but that's not the one I want, it's further up. But we're getting pretty close to where I need to be. Right, how far are we on the map? Not doing too bad. I think it's up the top of this cliff now. Yeah, let's hover. Levitation. Right, so this is Skull Village. Now, we've made it to the location. See that? Solstheim Rimhull, level 100 lock. Now, that's, a, that's the biggest lock in the game. Right, now we go to our spells. Master key. I've got a 1 in 4 chance just under of being able to open this. That one failed. Now I need more magicka. Come on, let me in. That's twice now. Third time we're in there, we've unlocked the spell. Awesome. 
Weapon at the ready. So, this is the location, but the problem is there's a lot of very dangerous skeletons who uh, are inside this cavern. So, first we need to get away from there. See, he's already aggroed. Come on then, let's go, bro. Nope. Ow. Wow, you're a douchebag, aren't you? Chug some of them. Right, I'm going to kill this guy the fast way. Check this out. If he lets me. Oh, get wrecked. Now there's another one. Uh, the problem is I used two casts there by accident. Now i got to kill this ass wipe. Oh, one more. Nice. That was that was pretty good. Right, I need to rest now. Trust me, it's very dangerous coming in here. I'm gonna have to rest about another twelve hours, I think. Yeah, that should be fine. Right, now we come through here, and uh, need to be very careful in here. Because uh, there are many skeletons about, and they will destroy you. Come on, dude. There we go. This is why I have this ring. This is why I made it. Well, one, the, one another reason why I made it. Get owned. I don't know what level these uh, skeletons are, but they're, they're very high level, I can assure you. I need to be on solid ground to rest. I'm far enough away from them. The reason why I'm resting is to get the charge back. See, I've got full 300 charge now. I'm going to need that, trust me. Kill him. See that guy over there? He's my intended target. Problem is, I've got to do with all, his, all of his backup. Get owned. Right, I think he's out of skeletons now. I think. Or he better be. Rest for 24 hours. Mm. We'll rest the number 12. Just to make sure that we've got full... Yeah, that, that'll be fine. Now, if I'm not mistaken... He's there. I thought there might be a chest round there. I guess not. I'm still on the court, so. Iron left pauldron, wolf gauntlet, cheap restore health potions, which I'll take. I'll take the gold as well, thank you. Right, this is what we've come here for. This guy here. Now remember, enchantment at the ready. Get your fist out ready for this. Intruder, who dares venture so deeply into the halls of Rimhull? The mantle of woe is mine. Do you hear? I have claimed the robe and its power. Yeah, this guy will not give this up easily. Behold the vestments I now wear. When I read the old stories, I had to learn the truth. Could it be that an item of such grand magicka lies so close at hand in the caves beneath my very village? I could contain my, eagerness, my eagerness no longer and jumped into the well. I braved Rimhull's dangers and at last my efforts were rewarded. Soon the dead shall walk and Timval the Dark shall lead them. So you've got many options here. Now, what I always say to him is the mantle of war will be mine because it will be mine. And so he says, so you seek the mantle's power for your own. A dark Jew it shall be then. And he's dead before you know it. <laughs> Get wrecked. There's the mantle of woe. 10,000 value. Constant effect enchantment. Drain personality. 100 points on self. Weakness to normal weapons. 20% on self. 
Uh, sun damage 20 points on self, which is obviously negative effects. Fortify conjuration 50 points on self. And fortify maximum magic of 5 times intelligence on self. I'll take that, thank you. Right, now we need to recall out of here. Let's put that back on. Right, we need a little bit of magic in now. Yeah, let's um let's try and recall back to my house. First time's a charm. Awesome. This has been a really good episode. We've got two things for my ultimate character in the same episode. That's pretty sick actually. We've got the mantle of war, which is outstanding. Really outstanding. Right, can come here, take these back. Right. That's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace.